So you just got an A7 III like I'm shooting on right here. Maybe you're looking at swapping across from Canon, from Nikon. Maybe you're just using your iPhone. Who knows? There are a ton of reasons that people come and make the jump to Sony, including myself. I used to be a Canon user. There are also a lot of things that people didn't know that they could do with their Sony camera. So today I'm going to go over my top five reasons why I like to shoot Sony. And if you just bought the A7 III, this could be five things you did not know that you could do with your camera. I'm going to go outside and film this because it's summer and it's nice outside and I shouldn't be inside and I want a nice coffee. Let's go outside. Super 35 mode. If you're shooting with a full frame camera, like a Sony a7 III and full frame lenses, you can use super 35 mode or crop mode and it allows you to shoot with your full frame lenses as if they were on a crop camera, so 1.5 times zoomed. Your lens has just got twice as useful. Your 85 prime lens just became a 127 mm telephoto lens. Pretty good. Focus peaking. So if you're shooting on that little screen and you're shooting in manual mode, sometimes it's kind of hard to see what's in focus and what's not. Turn on focus peaking, everything becomes red that's now in focus. Or a different color, you can change the color. Yeah, that's pretty useful. Custom dial buttons. So you want to swap between 4K and 120 frames a second easily without having to keep going into the menus, swapping one over to the other, back. That's a lot of work. On a Sony camera on the dial, you have a one and two that you can assign to do whatever you want. So in my case, I use one for 120 frames a second in 1080, and the other in 4K, 24 frames a second. That way you just flip the dial and you're between modes. Nice and easy. Remember how I said I wanted to film this all outside because it's nice and sunny and hot? Yeah, not anymore. We'll finish this inside. I did not expect it to rain that much, but oh well, we'll finish it in here. So to go with the one I talked about earlier on, if using Super 35 or crop mode isn't enough zoom for you, you can actually use clear image zoom. So clear image zoom gives you an additional two times zoom with absolutely no quality loss in 4K. You get two times zoom on top of what you already had with the Super 35 mode. So that's pretty crazy. The 85 mil is even bigger now. Custom buttons. And I don't mean the dial one and two, I mean actually the buttons on the camera. So if you're not happy with the way the buttons are laid out or you wanna change the buttons, you can do that. It's very straightforward, you can do it in the camera, you can pretty much change any of the buttons to do whatever you want. Up, down, left, right, center button. You even have actual custom C1, C2, C3 buttons on some Sony cameras, and you can assign those to whatever you want to use. So, custom buttons, change them to whatever you want. Focus magnifier. So, if focus peaking wasn't enough for you, those little red lines you still can't see, on that tiny little screen, well, focus magnifier will allow you to zoom in and actually see super close up what exactly is in focus. The big thing, you can do it in the middle of recording. So if you're in the middle of shooting something and you're not too sure if it's focused or not, you can zoom right in or punch straight in and see exactly if it's in focus, adjust it, get it focused and then you're good. And here's a tip for you to go over one of the shortcomings of Sony cameras if you're a vlogger. So obviously Sony cameras don't have the little flippy out screen that some other cameras do and it's really annoying sometimes. You're not too sure if you're exposed properly, you could have recorded a whole segment and you've lost all that footage because it's completely blown out. Well, turn your camera around, put your hand out in front, your hand's gonna be a very similar color, very similar skin tone to your face. If your hand's exposed properly, then your face is gonna be pretty close too. So that's how you can get around that. Turn the camera around, expose your hand properly, and uh, go back to vlogging and you're good. That's how you can get around that. I use this camera for work, I use it for fun, I use it for these videos. I also teach you about using this camera on this channel. I make films, I post my content. And if you're interested in that kind of stuff, just click that subscribe button down below. You will not regret it. And I appreciate you watching today and I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.